DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Protocol. And this protocol is used to automate the process of configuring network settings on devices. So I will uh, walk through this on some network diagrams and then I will actually show you uh, this process in a DHC server. So first, let's see how this uh, actually works. So you've got uh, some devices here, you've got a phone, you've got your laptop, and you know you want to connect to the network. You know, say you're at home or you know anywhere, and you want to browse the web, pull up YouTube, watch some videos. In order to do that, your your device is going to need some uh, network settings. It's going to need an IP address. It's going to need a subnet mask, gateway. You know, all these settings are needed uh, for your device to be able to talk to the network, to pull up your apps, play your games. You know, do do whatever. Um, and there's two ways to do that. You can go on your device and manually type all this information in, or you can use DHCP. Um, so what that does, that protocol will shout out onto the network and say, hey, I need, I need an IP address. So somewhere on your network, which will typically be your, your uh, ISP provider device, the modem, um, a router, Wi-Fi access point, it'll have what's called a DHCP server configured on it. So the server is looking for devices on the network that are saying, hey, I need an IP address, and it will respond and automatically provide all of this information to all your devices, you know, your, your phone, your Xbox, your Roku, your Apple TV, you know, anything that connects to the network, connects to the, to the uh, internet, is going to automatically configure all of this. And it's just something that happens daily that you don't even probably are aware of, you know, just even your, your cell phone is going to use a DHCP to automatically get all of these um, IP settings. So let me walk through. Uh, so that was just the basic overview. Now I'll kind of go through some technical um, pieces of DHCP. So behind the scenes, DHCP goes through a four-step process to uh, to get all those IP settings. So your your client wants to your client like you know your your laptop here. It wants to connect to the network um, and send some data or do whatever. So first, it's going to send out a DHCP discover. It's just going to scream out, hey, I need an IP address. Uh, your DHCP server will respond with, okay, here's what I have. Um, and it will send that back on the network. This is what I can offer you. You know, whatever network it is, it's going to say, hey, I can give you this IP address and these settings. Um, if your client accepts that, it will say, okay, I like that. So give me that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to request that IP address from the server here. Uh, the server accepts your request, it will respond with an acknowledgement and say, all right, I'm giving you these IP settings. And now your, now your uh, laptop or whatever device you have will automatically be configured with an IP, with a subnet mask, with a gateway, and with your DNS servers. And your, your DHCP server can configure all kinds of IP settings. Um, but I won't go into depth on that, but just be aware that DHCP servers can do a whole lot of things. It's beyond the scope of this uh, video, but they can do all kinds of things. So next I'll kind of walk through this on a real network. So, you know, this could be your, your network at work, could be your home network. Um, but you've got all of these devices connected and each one of them wants to talk on the network. So somewhere on your network, there'll be a DHCP server just waiting uh, for, for clients to say, hey, I need an IP address. So each one of these devices are gonna say, hey, they're gonna shout out, I need an IP. So they're gonna send off a, um, a discover. They're gonna send out a DHCP discover. That's the step one. And uh, DCP works on uh, UDP 67 and 68. And you'll see this a little better um, 
in a little bit I'll, I'll use Wireshark to capture the DHCP process and you'll see these actual protocols being used. But step one, each one of these will send out you know, DHC, DHCP offer. Any device on the network that wants uh, to use DHCP is going to send this out. And then step two, uh, your DHCP server will see those um, see those requests and then it's going to respond with you know that step two the offer so the server will send that out to every device on the network so it's going to blast this out saying hey here's what i can offer you guys and then each one of these will be will respond with you know step three okay i will take that and we'll respond with i want what you're offering to me i want that ip address so it's going to send it back each one of them will send back that request. DHCP server will get those requests. And then step four, acknowledge. And respond back, acknowledge, and then it will register and put the, the IP addresses into the database. So now each one of your devices will have, we'll just say 192.168.40.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
so you can actually see the DHCP process. So I've got Wireshark. I'm going to just select the uh, interface that I want to monitor. And then you'll start seeing a bunch of packets come in here. And I'm going to filter this because I just want to see DHCP. So I'm going to pull up the command prompt and try to generate some DHCP traffic. So I'm going to do an IP config. I'm going to release my IP address. And then I'm going to do a renew. So this is going to, the IP config command can be used to release uh, whatever DHCP address it's, it's grabbed. And then I'm going to renew it. So if I come up here. Okay. So now you can see the DHCP uh, request on the network. So here you can see I've, I released, that was the IP config command I used. So it released that IP address. So it sent that out on the network. So here is the process, starting of the process for the, the DHCP discover. There's a client on the network and it's broadcasting out hey, I need an IP address, so here's the DHCP discover. Uh, here it found a DHCP server sitting on the network and it responded with an offer. So it's responding back to the network and you can see it's broadcasting this all out onto the network. Here's what I can offer. The client responds with a request. Yes, that's what I want. And you can see here the source port and destination ports. DHCP works on UDP ports 68 and 67. So the client's responding back with request. Yes, I want that IP address. The DHCP server, this, this is the DHCP server. It found 192.168.40.3. It responded with acknowledge. Yes, um, here's the IP address information I can give you. So once that happens, I'll pull up my command prompt here again and you'll see, if I can type the command right, I should, should have a 192.168.40, here it is, 40.11. And you can see my uh, interface card automatically, DHCP automatically provided all this information, the IP address, subnet mask, um, the D DNS servers it automatically provided. And you can see here's the DNS server. And if I jump back over to the DHCP server, .11, you can see here it's registered the .11. It's got a lease expiration. So that that is it. As you can see, it's, it's really beneficial. And it's just something you don't even realize goes on every single day. When you're connecting to your home networks, your corporate networks, there's this DACP process that happens just all the time for, for devices connecting to networks. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.